Hey YouTube, uh, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to convert my Weber Smoky Mountain into a Weber Kettle. Now I know it's not a Weber Kettle that can't take the place of one, but when I bought this thing I wanted to use it for more than just uh, smoking from time to time. I wanted to get more use out of it and it's got a lot of potential. So stand by as we have a new setup. I'll show it to you using the Weber Smoky Mountain 22 just to grill some pork chops. And no, I'm not taking the bottom off, putting it on the table and just using it like that. I'm gonna use the whole thing. But um, I'm just using the top two shelves to set up the charcoal. Stand by. going to be fooling with the bottom of it. You see the bottom down there is clean now. I'm just going to be using the air vents down there and that's all that's going to do. So I'm going to get my middle section and put it on. Get in there, boys. Alright. Just open that up. And you'll see I'll have a empty can here. So what I'm going to do is put the middle and I know many of you probably have done this before, you just hadn't videoed it, or I hadn't seen any videos on it, but uh, what I'm going to do, let me set this up here temporarily. I'm going to put some oil. I'm just going to cover this water pan with some foil. No big deal. This will just give it a little protection and keep the worst part of the junk out of it. Just throw it down in there. It doesn't have to be real neat. Alright. Got that done. Now. What I'm going to do is get that in there on top of the second shelf. I'm going to let that be my charcoal basket and uh, fill it up with charcoal. And then I'm going to cook up here. That gives you about nine inches of height from the charcoal to the grate. Nine inches and it'll be a little higher than that, probably more like eight inches. So, I can use the air vents on the bottom and I can uh, put something in there to block off and have a hot zone and a cold zone but tonight I'm doing just some barbecue pork chops just a fast Friday night cook tomorrow I'm going to do chicken lollipops so I might have a hot side and a cold side doing that but uh, stay tuned ok friends this is simple this is a quick Friday night Four pork chops. We're going with a little salt and pepper. Everything like salt and pepper, right? One of the what I'm going to be using is some of this CHS sauce made right here in Florence, South Carolina. It's a good mustard based, vinegar based mustard sauce, but it's killer on chicken and things like pork chops, pulled pork, it's great. So we're going to be applying that uh, along in, in the cook. As I'll meet you outside. I think it's ready to dump. And I'm using some uh, used coal that I used on the last cook to uh, recycle some spent charcoal that we snuffed the oxygen off and just for this purpose. So just spread this out a little bit. What we'll do is put 
that top grate on. Okay, friends, it's time to do the slippy slippy. Already got them soft on this side. Oh, that's pretty. Pretty color. Pretty coloring. Friday night special. Isn't that pretty right there? Wow. Like I said, most of those coals are reused, recycled coals, so it's not putting out the big heat that a new piece of charcoal would do. So, you know how that works if you tried that before. You can get some good out of it, but a short cook like this is, is better than a, a big cook unless you just add more to it. Okay, I'm gonna do something a little different. I'm gonna lift this up and I'm gonna take these bricks, put them under here. And you know what I'm doing that for? I'm going to raise the coals three inches higher. How about that? Okay. Now, that looks more like a Weber kettle distance of charcoal and uh, grape level. A good pit master knows how to do such things. Especially a shade tree pit master. Yeah, I can tell. Uh, it's got a little more sizzle to it. Let me jiggle it a little bit. Trying to get the goody out of the charcoal. All right, we've come to the witching hour. Time to get these puppies up off this grill. Okay, something I want to show you. I forgot to say. Uh, the brackets, you know, when you put them together, the three brackets on the side, the bolts through the sides. There was a guy who made a video. He drilled a hole midway that bracket, all three brackets. And he put, he bought some clips, some L brackets from Lowe's. A little short, I don't know, quarter inch, half inch bolts, flathead, and put them on that bracket about halfway up. That would do the same thing that I just did with this uh, cook here and instead of putting the bricks underneath on the second level grate uh, those brackets would be there to catch the grate and you could do the same thing 
So I've got the bolts, the brackets. I just never, and I've already bored the holes when I put the grill together because I had already seen that video. So I'm gonna be putting those brackets halfway up that, those three brackets where they, all I gotta do is take them off and put those brackets on with the little short bolt and then I'll have me another set of brackets uh, halfway up where I can put that grate on and it'll be a, a good distance for grilling. It'll it'll bring it up to about the six inch mark. All right, I wanted to show you that. Okay, folks, here it is. Friday night special. I'm not gonna show a taste test, but look at those chops. Those were done on the uh, Weber Smoky Mountain charcoal grilled and you saw how I did it and they're gonna be delicious I'll let you know I want y'all to know I've got three bites left and that pork chop was absolutely delicious yes so until next time fill in Florence